It's no secret that Tarkov is a demanding game, but it's also no secret that nobody likes these intros, so let's just get to the meat of it and skip the bullshit. Before I do though, here's a quick segment about how to create a restore point because you should do that before making any of the changes listed in this video or any other video, and I totally didn't record this last because I totally didn't forget. Before you do any of these things, it is very smart to create a restore point. And if you don't know how to create a restore point, I will guide you through that really quickly now. Simply go to the search bar and type in restore. This will come up, hit enter. And then in here, you just hit create, type a name for the restore point, and then it'll create a restore point. Once this is done, you can simply hit close. And then if you ever want to restore back to a previous version of your computer, for example, when these changes weren't in effect on your computer, just hit system restore and go through the prompts. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the actual meat of the video. The first part of this video will be focusing on reducing the number of background tasks within Windows, freeing up a little extra room on your CPU for your game. To do this, we'll be using a utility I found through a separate YouTuber's channel, whose name is Paul Pegasun, and the app is called Pegasun System Utilities. His channel and the application created by the Pegasun dev team is an absolute time saver when trying to remove unwanted services within Windows. The links to both their website and YouTube channels will be listed below, so if this helps you or you need additional guidance, they have a really great in-depth guide to this application on their channel, so show them some support over there. Before you install it though, I wanna put up a disclaimer about this software. When I did my research on it before putting it in this video, I noticed there was a lot of somewhat sketchy websites that were writing guides about uninstalling this program due to it coming up as a quote, potentially unwanted malware on their system's antivirus. I have done scans with my anti-malware applications, Malwarebytes, Windows Defender, and a temporarily installed Bitdefender, and all came up clear. Due to this, I have come to the conclusion that it is safe for my system for now. If at any point you feel this application is unsafe and you wish to remove it, I will include an uninstall guide at the end of the video for your peace of mind. Once you do boot up Pegasun though, and get through the installation process, there are two things that we're going to be doing in this cleanup, though you can explore the other options that this application has to offer, but there are only a limited option since it's the free version. I would be cautious when trying to upgrade to premium, I wouldn't recommend it, but still. So first we're going to focus on boot PC startup. This is essentially a better version of your task managers, and I'll actually pull it up right now so you can see it, your task managers startup list. As you can see, I have five programs listed here in my startup that I can disable. However, when I hit boost PC startup, a whole host of other applications come up that I can disable. For example, Twitch. I, when I installed this application, Twitch was booting up on my computer and I had no idea. So I disabled this, I disabled CCleaner, Smart Cleaning, Epic Games Launcher, etc. All these extra applications that did not show up in Task Manager's startup show up here. So to disable it, simply uncheck the box and it'll say to disable. And then whenever you're done, just hit apply. If nothing shows up, make sure you hit scan items and then all the new applications will come up. Once you do this though, the other thing we're going to be doing is the optimize PC button. What this does is as you can see, when I hover over, it speeds up your PC by disabling unneeded background services. Services are things that are running within Windows operating system itself that can be unnecessary. For example, Windows does integrate Xbox and several of its features into its OS. If you want to disable those startup services, you can here. So let's click on it. Then once you boot it up, you'll see there's a host of different services that are listed here. And if I scroll all the way down, you'll see Oh, here we are. Xbox, Live Game Save, Live Off Manager. I stopped these, I disabled all these, but some of these are still running in the background. Some of these are Windows related, relate to your security. So I don't go through and disable all of them. I choose the safe option, which only disables things that are completely safe to disable. If you want it to disable everything, you can click on the maximum option. However, I have not done that myself, but it's up to you. Once you've chosen the option that you would like to test, simply hit the optimize button. When you hit that, a whole list of services should come up. For me, it's only one because I've ran this before. Once you've scrolled through, made sure that all the things that you want to keep automatically booting up with the computer are left or are unchecked. As you see, if I uncheck that, it will not, it will not optimize that service. It will not disable it. So make sure, for example, if you do use Xbox utilities, make sure all the Xbox utilities that you see in here are unchecked so they're not disabled and you don't have any issues with that however when this is all done simply hit optimize and then if everything goes correctly it'll hit successful from there 
you're done with Pegasus System Utilities. If you'd like to, for example, use the Clean Your PC option and explore that, you're more than welcome to. And if you want an extended guide on that part of the application, Paul Pegasus does a really good job of explaining how his tool works, but he could always use something like CCleaner if you want a more simpler UI to work with. Either way, when this is all done, all you have to do is restart your computer, and then we'll be going to the second part of this video. After the restart, the next thing we're going to do is improve the priority of Tarkov within your CPU to ensure it receives the highest amount of system resources. One step many players do to try and improve their CPU's performance within the game is by enabling the use only physical cores option, which disables hyper-threading and the use of logical cores. However, everyone who I've seen test the setting has seen no difference when changing the setting when they have hyper-threading available. I do not have hyper-threading available because my CPU doesn't support it. If you truly want to test the game without hyper-threading or you want to make sure your CPU is putting its best foot forward, open Tarkov, enable the use only physical cores option, if you're planning to disable hyper-threading that is, and then install Process Lasso. Now, Process Lasso aims to be a CPU and RAM orientated governor of task priorities and performance. To put it in English, it is an improved version of Task Manager that allows you to change way more than just processing priority and is geared to improve your performance in applications. Once you've gone through the installation process, and side note, no, you don't have to pay for any of the features we'll be using, so just hit continue when the wait timer is over, you'll be brought to this screen. The first thing you want to do when you hit this screen is go to Options. In Options, go to General and make sure these two options are checked, manage processes of all users and close window to system tray. Next, when you've done that, make sure you're still in this general tab and make sure the refresh interval for your GUI and governor are set to the highest thing they can. For me, it's 10 seconds, so I will be putting them at 10 seconds. When you set those, go over to the power option and make sure that the power plan is set to Bitsum highest performance. If you have a different power plan, for example, from an optimization pack, I watched a long time ago, I have this ultimate performance power plan that I use, so I use that. But if you don't have that, go with Bitsum highest performance. When that's set, go over to CPU, foreground boosting, and enable only boost normal priority processes. When those are set, now you can open up Tarkov if it's not open already. To disable hyper-threading, find Escape from Tarkov in the task list, and it's the Escape from Tarkov EXE, not the BattleEye version. Right click on it, go to CPU Affinity, and check Disable SMT. That will disable hyperthreading for real, and you will see if there's any performance impact. I can't test this again because I don't have this option. So let me know how it works in the comments below. Besides that, there's a couple things you can do as well in these settings to help improve performance. For starters, CPU priority, always, and high. This will make sure that whenever you boot up the game when Process Lasso is running, it will be at high priority. This is something you can do in Task Manager, but this allows it to be set every single time. Also, you can go to I.O. Priority and set this to Always High as well. Then finally, you can induce Performance Mode on it, just to make sure that every single bit of resources that your OS can scrape up for Tarkov will be put towards Tarkov. Once you've done this, you are good to go and that is the entirety of the optimizations. However, do keep in mind that both Pegasus System Utilities and Process Lasso will boot up when you start your computer. To disable them starting up when your computer starts up and only when you want it to start up, go up to the options, click on General, and configure Startup. For Process Lasso, these are the two options. You just simply hit Do Not Start at Login and have it launched by the GUI when it is run. These two options will make sure that the governor and the main GUI start up when you launch the application yourself and not when your computer is starting up. I just like to do this because sometimes I don't need Process Lasso open and it's better to just have as little processes running in the background as possible when it's not needed. When I'm not running a demanding game, I'd rather not have this open. For Pegasus System Utilities, all you have to do is go to Settings, General, and uncheck Start Automatically When Windows Loads. It starts three minutes after the Windows load, which won't impede your startup times, but still, if you're not gonna be using it every single day, there's no reason to have it boot up with your computer. So uncheck this option and hit Save. Once you've done those two things though, you are officially 
done with the optimizations. Congratulations. I'm totally not recording this several days after I recorded the other stuff. Don't look at the timestamp in the bottom right, but I need to show you guys how to uninstall Pegasus System Utilities if you'd like to get rid of it on your system. All you really need to do is to go to your Windows settings, which I'll go to right now. And then I'm gonna to go to apps. Here, all you have to do is type in Pegasun, it'll come up, and then you can hit uninstall. And to make sure it's uninstalled, if you really, really wanna make sure it's uninstalled, CCleaner, if you wanna download that, has an amazing tool that allows you to uninstall apps on the fly. And it actually has more listed there than it does in the Windows version of it. So I take a look at this as well and see if you wanna install anything listed here including Pegasus system utilities if the need arises. So yeah, I know this video took a long time to come out, but that's because I was trying to find something that was actually going to at least reduce the variation in average FPS and improve 0.1 and 1% lows when you're playing the game. This may not get you as much FPS as you'd hope, like I can't squeeze tons of FPS out of a Pentium processor, but hopefully you'll see more stable FPS by changing these settings and a performance boost of a little bit, at least, if you are CPU bottleneck. If this video did help you, make sure to hit the like button, and if you have any questions whatsoever, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I try to respond to every single comment that comes down, and I really do appreciate all you guys asking questions, challenging what I say, and adding on to the conversation. I really do appreciate all those comments, and it makes my day. So. Thank you guys so much for all the support, but for now, this is Clem, logging out. Wait, it's clocking out. Man, I gotta get used to this. Later.